Hi guys, welcome to the little wood shop again. So this week I would like to finish the little trophy stands or medallion stands. I quickly made myself a sample just to familiarize myself with the process and make it easier for myself. And uh, the jigs are ready and we can make them now. So follow along, let's make some trophies. Oh yes guys, please remember to subscribe. Enjoy. So guys we're back at the little trophy stands and all the little short blocks we'll have to put a little chamfer of 15 degrees on. I measured it with my digital rule and it's 15 degrees so I'm just quickly going to cut that. So what I've done is I put myself a stop block on the miter saw, set my miter saw to 15 degrees and made sure my line comes down to exactly on the corner. I then cut them, all 30 of them and uh, get it done. And that's the 15 degree we need. Let's cut all of them. Guys, for those that's wondering, the blue pipe, I got myself a new little Bosch dust collector, vacuum cleaner, and I'm just testing it and see how it's working. I will eventually install it in the original pipe where the old vacuum cleaner was in. The whole idea is why I got the Bosch, it's automatic on off. So when you start your machine, you actually start the vacuum cleaner, sucks a little bit for another three or four seconds and then switches off. It's just much more, much easier than the old machine that I have to switch on first, then cut and then work from there. The idea is what I want to do is I want to put a dust separator that will keep the filter on the little wash clean and I'm still working on that. I will show you as we go there. The next thing we have to do is we have to drill the little 50 millimeter holes or recesses for the medallions and the one thing I have to keep in mind is that the chamfer is always to the bottom of the bed. I've just made myself a quick little jig and then I make sure that the chamfer is towards me and towards the table. Put it in, I mark my cross, making sure that this is always center. And we draw a little hole. And then of course I made sure to set my depth on the drill press. And one thing I want to make sure of, the old little box, the little hole came through. And I want to make sure on mine that doesn't happen. So I've set it so that the coin sits nice and flush, but not exiting through the back. So I've got 30 of these to draw quickly. Let's get that done. So guys, that's now all the parts. I've got a funny affliction when it comes to projects where I get intimidated, I think. And I'm scared I make a mistake. So what I've done is I've taken some of the extra material I've got and I just quickly assembled one little trophy stand or whatever we're going to call this and just quickly assembled one just to make sure I get my distances right where my hinge points is going to be, my chamfer is correct so when I fold it open that it stands correctly and after I've done this, most of the worries is actually quite over. So, I don't know if you guys also have the same type of affliction I've got. But sometimes a project will be daunting me or haunting me until I just build one. Just get one basically done. As you can see, this is not sanded. The final chamfer is not on. But I can get the mechanism to work the way I would like to work it. And... Now the worries is over. So what happened now is we've got the chamfers done on all 30 of the short ones and then also the little recesses that takes the medallion. All the long ones are cut, all the sides are cut and I'm going to start assembling. My idea with the assembly is what I'm going to do is I'm first going to just assemble the base part then once all 30 of them is 
assembled and together I'm then gonna match the long ones to fit exactly I don't want it to be stiff like this so that's a mission to open it I want it there but not stuck like that so then I'm gonna match a lid to each one of them put them one side plane them with a hand plane until they got a nice exact fit and uh, take it from there then then finally once everything is done I'll cut the last chamfer so for now what I'm going to do now is quickly assemble all the bases so that we have that together and uh, I'll see you there so guys the way I'm going to do it is let's take the short one make sure the chamfer is once again away from me and then towards the two access points and the way I'm going to glue them is the super glue and glue trick because I don't want nails or screw marks on the sides so I'm going to put a few dots of super glue and the rest wood glue and then just clamp them together so that my super glue acts as my clamp quickly going to go 30 of them and uh, one step closer to the end So guys, all the little blocks are now done, and now I must make the lids fit, nice and snug like that, but not too stiff. I would like them to open easier, so I got this fit nice and snug, and the way I'm doing that, just putting the little lid in the vise, give it a quick plane, until I get a snug fit. now stiff but not too stiff I've got a quick 30 of them to make fit we'll take it from there the next part of this plan now is all the lids are made to fit so I want to line it up make sure because the hinge part is on this I just want to clamp it down in the position where I want it now I'm going to put it in the drill press and drill the little holes. The stock is 10 millimeters thick, so the idea is I'm going to drill 5 millimeters away from that end and 5 millimeters away from th this end to make sure my pivot point this side and that side is exactly the same. That will do on the drill press. As I made myself a quick little jig to drill the holes, the 5 millimeters away like I showed you, I just put a piece of paper as a spacer in between 
just to make sure my backs are very flush. I'm now going to put it in my jig and then all my holes should be on the same place. The problem with this jig is now, I can't just flip it over and drill on the other side because then my hole will be there. So I'm going to drill all of them on one side, change my jig to drill the other one. So all of them, just one side now. So guys, as you've seen in the thumbnail, mistakes were made. Don't always just trust your jig because you measured twice. In this case, Half a millimeter makes quite a difference. Can you see the problem? The whole thing is standing off center. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually an air gap and this side is flush. So if you look in the back, there's a gap here and that side is closed. And that is absolutely just the dimensions where you put the little nails or the hinge, the pivot points. It is so close that like this one I fixed you can't even see the plug where I plugged it and then re-nailed it the idea is that if you put it down that that gap everywhere is exactly the same so it doesn't make an air gap and then if you look at it from the back that is totally closed which in this case where I just assembled and thought my jig is right it's not even close so I made a mistake with two of them, this one I think is even worse, oh, that one you can see very nicely and it's really if you look at where the pins are, there's not much of a difference. So yes, two of them is going to the fireplace because to get the pins out now it's almost impossible without totally ruining the piece of wood. So I'm just going to take some of my spare wood and redo re them. So guys, it's now that time of any woodworker's dream job is sanding. So I must get all this sanded, get all the little burn marks, just round over the corners a little bit, just break the corners and get it nice and smooth before we can oil it. So I'm not going to bore you with all the sanding. What I'm using is Bosch's little sanding sponges and I use a coarse, a fine, an extra fine and they just come in little pads like that they work actually very nice and just by luck look at that it just fits in exactly there so it sends the inside of the little box perfect it just fits in there like a glove by accident I didn't plan it like that so yeah let me get the sanding done and we'll do some oily so guys, it's the sanding is done. It's now the final stretch for this. They're all sanded. And what I'm going to use is Leroy's wood wax. And uh, I'll try to leave a link in the bottom of the description if you want some of this. It really works. A hey, charm. It's a beautiful finish. And the smell, I just can't get over that honey smell. It's really nice. So what I'm doing is, I don't stain the little pocket that we made for the medallions because they still want to glue the medallions to the inside apparently they yet just use silicone to glue them in there the rest of it is all there now sanded and then i'm just going to wax it now so it's the final stretch and i'm quite happy with the finish i tried to make them all so that it's a friction close but it's not difficult to open so, and I think I managed quite well with that. They all got a nice finish to them. So let me get the waxing done. It's gonna take some time. And another thing guys, I must say I'm quite impressed with the Bosch sanding pads. The hardness of these pads is actually just perfect. Bosch really thought of this. They work a charm. So please guys, use this. Try it, it really works. A hey, charm. Let's get to waxing.
So guys, that's now the 30 little trophy stands done. That's the idea what they should look like. This one I didn't like that very much, but it's a nice stand. So the ones we've made is going to look like this. We then changed the wood from Mboya, which is that, to Kihat, which is this. And as you can see, there's no play. The sizes is exactly the same. The little name tags they will put on themselves and then add, of course, the medallions. The polishing of this took quite a while. And uh, I'm very happy with the finish. I'm telling you guys, you can use this anytime. Anytime. The finish on this, it's such a satin finish. I love it. I don't like a gloss finish on wood. But this satin is it's just enough shine to it. So, eventually this project is now done. It took longer than what I thought. Lots of small finicky jobs on this. But I'm happy it's done. The customer should be happy as well. He wanted it by the end of next week. So I can give it to him almost a week earlier. And now we can continue with some other jobs. So guys, please subscribe and share this video. But most of all, stay safe, stay healthy and make some dust.